This is the solution to quiz 15. So the first exercise, well, let's look at what it says. It says, suppose you want to have $200,000 in 10 years' time. So this is a future value. Uh, $200,000 is a future value that you have access uh, to a savings account offering 6% and that you plan to make monthly payments. Okay, so this is an, this is an annuity problem. <clears throat> so the fact that it says in 10 years time, that means that this is a, f a future value. So that means that uh, we'll be using the formula S is R multiplied by 1 plus I to N minus 1 over I. And uh, we are supposed to, we're supposed to find R because that's what it says, find the monthly payment. So find R and we are given that uh, S is 200,000, our future value. Uh, N, so we have 10 years, but this is compounded monthly, which means that there's 12 events per year. So N is 120, and I is 6% annual interest, but it's compounded monthly, <clears throat> so that's 0 0.06 over 12, so that's 0 0.005. Okay, so the formula for R, if we solve for R, is S divided by 1 plus I to N minus 1 and then over I. So that would be 200,000, and then now I'll type this in. <coughs> so 1.005 to 120 minus 1 divided by 0 0.005. <coughs> so that is 163.5. 8793468 so typing that into the machine <coughs> that is 1220.41 one rounded to the nearest cent. Now find the present value of this annuity. Okay, that's equivalent to asking. So this, the statement is, uh, the original statement is saying we want to make monthly payments so that we'll have $200,000 in the future, at some future time. Now the question is, is that, well, how much could we pay, put in a bank account exactly now and have $200,000 at that same future time? Okay, so now the formula is P is R multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus I to negative N, and then over I. And this is <coughs> given the same values as above. So given this R and this n and this i. Okay, so plugging that in, the unrounded version of r is 1, 2, 2, 
zero point uh, four one zero zero three nine. <coughs> Okay, and then this term in round parentheses evaluated is 1 minus 1.005 raised to negative 120 and then divided by 0 0.005. So this would be 90.0735. And then typing this in. <coughs> Value is one zero. Nine nine two six point five five rounded to the nearest cent. So what that's saying is that uh, about a hundred and ten thousand dollars is what you would need to put away right now, just one time, so that you would have two hundred thousand uh, dollars in ten years. Okay, question two. So we have a present value question. <coughs> Suppose we enter into a mortgage with, with these terms. So what is the present value? We'll be using the formula P is R multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus I to negative N over I. And <coughs> we're using R is 1,200. Uh, monthly payments for 30 years, so N is uh, 360, and I is 6% but compounded monthly, so that's uh, 0 0.005. Okay, now it's just a matter of plugging in. That would be uh, 1200 multiplied by 1 minus 1.005 exponential negative 360 over 0 0.005. So that'd be 166.7916144. So then carrying that last multiplication out, that would be <coughs> 200149 point nine three seven. Ah, but we went around to the nearest cent, I, I guess. So 94. So what this is saying, you enter into a mortgage, and these are the terms, that means that the, the present value of the house, presumably, is about two hundred thousand dollars. So, what is the unpaid principal after ten years? Well, the unpaid unpaid principal formula is Q <coughs> uh, is R multiplied by one minus uh, one plus I, and now the exponent is negative n minus x over I, <coughs> and it's with the same uh, parameters uh, as above, and we're using X is, so there's been 10 years of payments uh, with 10 years of monthly payments, so X is 120 now. So that would be, just to be clear, that would be 1,200. <coughs> multiplied by 1 minus 1.005 to negative 360 minus 120, well that's 240, and then 
over 0 0.005. Okay, plugging that into the machine. <clears throat> that would be 1200 multiplied by 139. Uh, 0.5807717. Okay, and then carrying out that last multiplication. Uh, that is 167496.93. Uh, so many people are, when they see uh, <laughs> these numbers, they're quite surprised to find out that after after paying for 10 years, $1,200 uh, of monthly payments, so that's 1200 and you've made 120 payments, you've paid uh, $144,000. Uh, you've only managed to knock off 34 um, thousand dollars of principal, well that's the uh, effect of interest. <clears throat> what this what this number represents is that because you're in a 30-year mortgage um, <clears throat> this is the amount that you could pay right now uh, after 10 years to pay off the house. This is how much you still owe. Okay, question three. Suppose you won a prize and that you had to wait. So th what the question is asking, it's saying here's two, here's two different annuities. And uh, they both mature in 10 years. Um, and you can't have any of the money until they've matured. Uh, so in in the end the question is is which which annuity has is worth more uh, annuity A or um, annuity B so and because we can only get it in the future we want the uh, future value <laughs> so the future value so for part A the future value will will be the future value formula is R times 1 minus, uh, no, R times one plus I to N minus one over I. And we're going to do this <coughs> with R is 1100 uh, and so compounded monthly uh, N is 120 because it's 10 years with, of monthly payments and the interest rate uh, is 36 over 12 so that's 0 0.03 <coughs> okay so then plugging that in to the machine that's 1100 times 1.03 raised to 120 minus 1 divided by 0.03. So the number is 1236069.53 rounded to the nearest cent. So putting in some commas. So that is um, about 1.2 million dollars. Okay, B. It's same story, so the future value formula <clears throat> with just different parameters. So R is 2,000, N is 120 and I is 0.02. So now at first 
At first glance, before you get accustomed to thinking about annuities and compounding interest, you might think that, um, well, the option, option A has $1,100 payments and option B has $2,000 payments. Uh, but the interest rates seem pretty similar, 3% and 2%. You might think, ah, uh, this one's got to win for sure. So let's type that in. And the number that you get is 976516.30. Uh, so that's less than a million. <clears throat> and therefore, the conclusion is that you should choose option A. <clears throat> because option A has the bigger payout, and that's the answer. <clears throat>